Hello. I pray that you are well today. We continue in 1 Peter chapter 4. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves with the same attitude, because whoever suffers in the body is done with sin. We ought not be surprised if we have to suffer. As a result, they who live no longer do not live the rest of their earthly lives for evil human desires, but rather for the will of God. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and detestable idolatry. They are surprised that you do not join them in their reckless wild living, and they heap abuse on you. In other words, when people see the difference, they don't appreciate it and heap abuse. But they will have to give an account for him who is able to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel is preached even to those who are now dead, that they might be just judged according to human standards in regard to the body, but live according to God in regard to the spirit. Verse 7, the end of all things is near. Therefore, be alert and of sober mind that you may pray. The end of all things. We recognize that there's only so much time, and therefore we ought to be of alert and of sober mind. In verse, four, verse 8, above all, love each other deeply. Because love covers over a multitude of sins. Above all else, love each other deeply. Because love covers over a multitude of sins. What's your goal with people? Above all else, love them deeply. Because love covers over a multitude of sins. There are things that go wrong, words that are said, actions that are taken, things that are done, things that are not done. But offer hospitality to each other without grumbling. How we treat each other matters. Each of you should use whatever gift you've received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Each of you should use whatever gift you've received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. What gift have you been given? Are you using it? If anyone speaks, they should do it as one who speaks the very words of God. In other words, if you speak, speak the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do with all the strength that God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Each of you, use whatever gift God has given you to serve others as faithful stewards. You and I have gifts but our gifts are not centered on us. They are centered on other people. They are other-centered. And God gives us love that we might be able to let love cover over a multitude of sins. Sometimes we have to speak and have things addressed to speak the truth in love. And other times, we just simply give it to God and let love cover over. I pray God would give us wisdom to know how to do it. When do we let it go? When should you let it go? When should you let love cover over? When should you use the gifts that God has given? Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray. We pray that we may be a gift to one another, that we may be having the strength to let love cover over a multitude of sins. We thank you, Father, for your grace in our lives, your grace through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. I invite you. If you are able to help, we are still collecting glasses, size five diapers, household goods, food, furniture, things that we can help other people with. We'd be happy to receive them and give them to others. God's grace to you. God bless you today.